stuff for a while. Um, I've molded over. I told my dad about it for a bit, whatever it is. I kind of just want to make a video journal, I guess. Just unless the videos on YouTube, just kind of put them up and just kind of feel the vent my feelings. Things like that. Kind of just to the void like I normally do. Um, I think it might do me some good because I, I seem to just talk a lot in my car. Uh, about his random shit, you know, or scream and stuff like that when I get mad, and it just is away from the event, and it doesn't, you know, have me go home. Take the next right onto West Lakeshore Drive, then turn left onto Broadway Street. Sorry, my navigation's on. I don't even know why I'm apologizing. I mean, I'm the only one that's gonna see most of this stuff. So I managed to see it. I mean, uh, I'm being recorded. Uh, I guess I should start out with just kind of summarizing my last week. Slow composite jobs, just checking in and out the tools. Turn left onto Broadway Street. Last Friday, or last month, or no, it was Monday night. I checked in for Bravo. I missed a six inch scale that somebody took out of it. Continue for four miles. Um, I was just lying on the press break. Um, didn't notice it. Checked on some stuff. Inventory was good. Went home. Got called in earlier the next day um, when I was doing my uh, sway bar links on both sides. Thankfully, it's not as rattly anymore. You'd be able to hear it if it was. Or if it was. Jesus. Thankfully, this is a long form, so I, I don't really care about editing, so anything, any mistake I make, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so. I was doing my sway bar link to get called in by uh, Supervisor 1, um, letting me know that I could just come in. They didn't really tell me why. They just need me to come in early. That's basically code word for either I fucked up or I'm getting a piss test. It's usually what I, I take it as. I, I think I've had one other occasion where I got called in for something that's completely different. It wasn't bad. It was just I forgot to do some training or something like that. It didn't really matter. Um, so they call me up, and I, I come out, and I'm desperately trying to get my the wheel stuck back on my car again. That was rough. That was real rough. Um, I'm trying to get it all put back together and get the tab arlings on. Because he called me right when I started to cut off that uh, the ball the little ball joint thing or, or the ball for the ball joint. That way, I can get an impact gun on it and uh, get it spun off one side because I, I can't get the impact wrench behind there. The stupid CV joint on this fucker doesn't like to, uh, what do you call it, uh, be, um, what's the name I should say? It's on the tip of my tongue. I feel like an idiot. Um, being cooperative. There we go. Yeah. See, I had a brain fart there. I wasn't being very cooperative, so I got that off and stuff like that, and I quickly put everything on. I went back, shower, covered in just carved dirt. It's like worse than normal dirt because it's all greasy and like looks like oily because it's been latching all the oils in the car and stuff like that. So I was all fucked up and nasty. Um, got that done, and I came in, and it turns out they found the scale on the press brake. Long story short, and they were pissed, so. Had six months with no real problems. Uh, most of the problems that I've had are usually for getting me for me for getting to do stuff it's like that. I mean, yeah, it's coming straight off of my leave is when I did it. So I mean, I'm two days into having you know no work or, or for, to come two days into coming back after having ten days of not doing anything but just kind of chilling out and working on the house, which unfortunately wasn't too much. Uh, I was really stressed the fuck out. I guess I am still kind of stressed. I can feel it, like this tension in my back. It's kind of, you know, like my back, my shoulders especially, and all my neck. It's kind of where I, I carry most of my stress, like the back of my neck. It fucking sucks. So like I, I have this nerd neck kind of going on. So I, I can't really speak for like uh, what exactly I was thinking at that point. I told him that I, I can't speak for what I was going really going through my head and stuff like that. But I mean, I knew what was kind of going. But, uh, kind of the weather and stuff like that, so if we back up a little bit farther, my dad finally went to Italy with my uh, other dad. They've been hanging out, and it turns out they've been having a lot of issues, I guess. Um, I'm not really between them, but my dad did. He was, so he goes and does real estate and stuff like that. He, you know, um, was relying on this uh, 
advance on this commission. He already had closings that were going to be closing out and be able to bank on them, whatever. Because like once you hit a certain stage of the closing, they can't back out or else they get shit shit out of them. So they almost never back out at that certain point. So it's guaranteed money. He was just going to have them do that. It's like apparently like three things of paperwork. I can't really confirm that. I don't really know if he's being out up front about the whole process. But apparently the finance person didn't like him. Um, waited till like the last fucking moment, two days before he's supposed to be able to blame Italy. Tell him that he's not going to have any spending money or that he turned his paperwork on. So there's no way to, you know, fix it. And basically what they did was just say, you know, hey, your thing got disapproved. You fucked up your paperwork. Uh, we're going on leave now um, for the weekend or whatnot. Uh, don't call us. And just hung up the phone. And my dad's like, oh, hell. So he cursed him out. So um, he wants to move out of there now. Like that, so I guess he's uprooting his whole thing and going somewhere else. Which he's not hit the ground running because he had two weeks of not selling houses because of this trip out to Italy and the Czech Republic to go see my brother and his baby. And it, it's just he it, has to hit the ground running, he better, you know, do all that stuff. But, but I mean, um, that's not exactly what worried me. Whatever it is, well, it, it did worry me because I ended up giving about twenty-one hundred dollars and stuff like that um, through credit. I gave him eleven hundred dollars to complete stuff, and uh, my uncle gave him the rest. He's pissed. He's still pissed. Oh, he's about to rip my dad a fucking new one. Um, and then before that, I gave I had loaned him almost, you know, about a grand. Um, to get his Airbnb done. Um, it wasn't really grand, like 750 bucks, and he was gonna cover the rest of the 250 on the card and pay it off. So it was a good deal for me. I get, you know, a, a boost to my credit, and I get the entirety of a balance of all my credit cards paid off, which is fucking lit. Because I had to budget it every month for how much I'm spending towards those credit cards every single time they hit, so it's a pain in the ass. So anyway, I had that on my mind, um, but that wasn't it. He ended up getting a infection on his leg, like something called cellulitis, and it was a bacterial infection that, that went underneath his skin. His fucking skin's all black and all nasty and stuff like that. I was worried about it because he never really had good circulation in the first place, so like he could lose his leg if it gets bad enough. If it goes septic, he could lose his leg. He could be hospitalized. In fact, he's still about to go to the fucking hospital. And then that same night, I'm explaining this to the sergeant. And like that, that probably what was on my mind at that time, something like that. Because I think I got like the fucking memory of a goldfish when it comes to stuff that happened the previous night. Um, it's, it's, it's late. I'm doing turnover. I want to get the fuck out of there. I want to go home. I want to sleep. I want to take a shower, relax, and go the fuck to bed. I don't even drink anymore and help me relax. I just know I won't wake up in the morning when I'm supposed to. Um, thankfully, today I got up at like 6 a.m. I'm not even mad at you, but like 5, I don't fucking remember. Just know that I messed up. In a quarter mile, day, turn left onto Pemberton Bypass. Uh, my Six Flags Pass to go with a friend of mine. Um, not really that I couldn't find it, just I didn't make an effort to go and look for it. It was so late in the day, I didn't want to go to Pig's Flag. It just kind of a, felt like a monumental task. And I don't know. I feel like Sisyphus rolling a boulder up the hill. I just Turn really left onto Pemberton Bypass. Um, I think I'm coming down with something, at least mentally. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'd say depression, but it doesn't really have any of the symptoms of depression or whatever it is. Just this. Continue for eight miles. Oncally that I can't fix. And just lack of motivation and I just can't get my momentum up. It just I'm sitting there and I know I have to go work out and do all this other shit like that. And I just I never find the time. Or I purposely don't find it and I self-sabotage. I don't know why I'm doing it. It's like I don't know. It's not like somebody else is pulling up the strings and it doesn't feel good. Um, anyway, back to my topic. Um, I am I'm probably gonna end up having paperwork again after six months of clean, so I can't remove anything from my folder at all, because that's what the previous person said, it's like, if you wait a couple, you know, if you, you can actually be good for six months, you get stuff removed out of your PIF, and you'll start working it on getting stuff removed out of your PIF, and you'll start producing that. Um, so I fucked up, and it's going in my PIF, and it's 
that's that. Um, the other thing is, that they, it is um, Supervisor 2 is the one that kind of roasted me and I explained this to. And, uh, he, he, I, he, I mean, he, he could kind of actually ask me, I mean, is there anything going on that we don't know about? I'm like, yeah. Um, part of the reason I didn't, didn't make it public, I guess, and all of that is because I've had incidents before where I just kind of was running out of money and stuff like that, like loan sharking and shit. Um, and I used that as an excuse of why I didn't get my fucking registration done. And really, in all reality, I just had no effort to do so, and I didn't want to fucking blow the money. I get my registration taken care of, and it came by to bite me in the ass, and I got pulled over, and, and so long story short, I got fucked, and they had to come bail me out from the cop, and I mean, thankfully, they just let me park it right there instead of getting it towed, but apparently I didn't say thank you enough or whatever it is, and I wasn't really sure, but I mean, I'm just trying to be yes sir, no sir, but I guess they didn't get that. I, I didn't want I didn't want to, to trigger anything any farther, so I just got really non-confrontational and just tried to let it was like, Jesus Christ this thing is funny. Jesus. Anyway. So yeah, I, I, I got that done, I guess. I, I I know it's coming. The worst part about getting paperwork is like it's just this thundercloud that just looms over your head and you can't really do anything about it until they tell you anything. It just there's no communication until they let you know what you're getting and, and when the, the, the guillotine drops it drops. You don't know what you're getting until you get it. So they're saying they wanted to give me an LOC for it but there's a real possibility because my other paperwork I have one I have now. It's not fun. I don't know why I have nine of them. It's stupid. I have nine pieces of paperwork that I can't do anything about. Um, and I've got six months of just good behavior, and I get paperwork for dumb shit, and I get it for good shit. And it's, it's the thing about paperwork is is that it's not like it's a courtroom thing where you can just go and argue it or whatever it is. If the person wants to fuck you, they can fuck you all they want to. You don't have anything but a rebuttal, and rebuttals don't fucking work. Like, I've only had one rebuttal that's actually worked to dodge paperwork and all the paperwork that's been thrown at me. It just doesn't work. Even if I had photographic evidence at one time and stuff backing me up. They still got me for not using the stupid laptop. They still got me for it, and I'm like, this is how I was trained from day one. This is what they told me to do. We've been doing it this way for fucking months. Did you guys not know this? And I, I, you know, did kind of the fucked up thing. I pulled them underneath with me because I'm like, yo, this is how you guys train me. You guys are going to throw me under the fucking bus for this shit? That's bullshit. That's not fair. This is how I've been told to do it and stuff like that. And I've asked for, for paperwork stuff before and you guys never gave me the, the number for it. And they never gave me the number for the guide for it and stuff like that. And then when they gave it to me, it's this really just vague document of go, you know, go over this part, this, this, this part. And and that's it. And, like, I'm a machinist. Like, there's no, you know, deviation from damage. There's no how much damage and how deep this damage can be. What kind of damage is allowed. Like, it doesn't show anything. It just says check here and here for damage. Like, so what's considered damage? And I found damage. By, by that TO, by all accounts, by that TO, I found damage. And I marked it up as damage. And they forced me to write it up as not damage. So I'm like, that's fucking messed up. Okay. Um, but there's this time that, that everyone, it just, it's not worth arguing about when they tell you to just drop something. You just drop it. Even though you don't want to and you know it's, you're not really supposed to, yeah, you just drop it. Because it just makes things easier and it makes you known as a non-confrontational guy because you, you're seen as going against authority. They'll make you like fucking hell. They don't like having their authority questioned or whatever it is. Whether it's earned or not, you, you don't question their authority. And that's it. If you mess up, you mess up. Um, if you do good, you do good, whatever it is. You just, just never question their fucking authority. Don't challenge it. I'm just going to do it a lot in passing with jokes on accident and stuff like that. I'm just trying to give them rib them. I guess I'm too much in shock humor. But, um, yeah, no, the paperwork will stick wherever you like it or not. I don't like it. 
but I just kind of deal with it. Um, so I'm getting paperwork and I don't like it anyway. But but for as for the daily kind of stuff, whatever it is, I got up pretty early today. My sleep schedule was fucked from yesterday because I ended up falling asleep at 12, waking up at 5. So that's five hours of sleep unaccounted for that I wasn't supposed to do. I was supposed to stay up at least until 10 um, and then go to bed that way and try to reset my sleep schedule. And it just seems that I'm spinning my wheels with that and I fucked my sleep schedule up so bad it's not going to be easily fixed. I'm going to have to be very stringent and strict with myself. Um, I'm going to either wake up at the right time or, you know, I'm not really going to have a decent schedule. Um, my biggest worry is not being able to wake up at the right time because if I go to bed at 12, and I don't wake up at 8, and I end up waking up at like 9 or 10 or even 12. I had it where I, I took NyQuil, or, or like, not NyQuil, but Sequel, that sleep aid stuff. I ended up waking up at like 1.30. I just couldn't get out of bed. It was like, a, you know, it felt like I was like stuck to a fucking car pit. I just wouldn't let myself wake up. That screwed me up. Screwed me up. Like, it messed me the fuck up. I was really surprised on that. Like, I just couldn't get up. And then I'm getting up at, like, the very last moment. Like, at 1.30 p.m. is my cutoff. If I don't get up after that or whatever it is, I'm not going to get everything ready enough for me to get out. If I need to go and take a shower, um, get my clothes set up for work, my work uniform set up, and go out there and, you know, get to busting my ass and stuff. And I'm like busting my ass, but I mean, just doing your menial bullshit. Um, it's tedious, but, I mean, you gotta be, you gotta be on your ball, and I wasn't on my ball. But anyway, so yeah, sleep schedule problems. Um, I haven't been telling anyone about that because they don't take it seriously when I go and see, you know, like a doctor or something like that. They just don't take it seriously, so I just ignore it. If something doesn't work out, they don't take it seriously, and just, you shouldn't take it seriously. That's what I've kind of learned. I mean, I went to physical therapy for my fucking back, and they just kind of just asked me, like, what do you want us to do? Do you have exercises that can fix my back? Do you have something that can reduce the pain? You're the expert on this stuff like that. I come to you to fix me, not me, you know, me coming here and asking you a bunch of questions on how you want me to fix. Like, what do you want us to do? I don't know. What are you guys supposed to do? You guys are the fucking experts. In two miles, so, take the county yeah, road 691 south fire. exit toward Lumberton, when Medford. In my back issue, they always want to send me to fucking physical therapy like they're going to fix anything. So, it's like, write the fucking thing and send me to fucking pain management. I don't want to deal with this stuff. It, it's just ass nine. It's ass nine. I don't like it. But, um... But thankfully, my back pain has reduced a lot since I've actually switched over from my shitty air mattress to uh, an actual bed. So it's reduced a lot. I can drive around and my back doesn't hurt as much and all that kind of good stuff. It's nice. But uh, anyway, where was I? It's really good. Yeah, I woke up. Um, I went, picked up some McDonald's, um, got a haircut, got me back where I should be because my hair was getting a little bit long. Trashy in my opinion, but I mean, I didn't go out to like a barber shop or anything. I just went to like a cheapo barber, little shop thing. Um, really, just didn't want to deal with it. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't go out and I'm not looking to like get bitches anytime soon. I, I don't really even know if I'm good looking enough to actually fucking do that stuff. So I don't. I mean, I'm not looking for pity or anything like that or whatnot. It's just I paid. I don't know, I think some of my stuff from when I was Mormon and kind of hunched over, I, just, I don't know, I, I just don't feel clean when I'm just randomly having sex with people, I guess. It feels great for the moment, you know, after you get, you know, the post nut clarity and shit like that, as soon as that hits, you know, you're just like, shit, I really did fucking get this low and went out and did this shit. Wow. What a fucking piece of shit I am. In a quarter I mean, mile, take the county road 691 south exit toward Lumberton, Medford. Anyway, that, that's just what my, uh, thing, uh, you know, my, my, oh god, where was I?
was I? I'm fucking losing track of time anyway. But, um... Take the County yeah, Road 691 South to, Exit, then turn left onto County Road 691. Yeah, I completely lost my train of thought. See, this is why, why I'm doing it long form. I don't really care about editing because I fucking make too many mistakes. I think it was at... Uh, turn left onto County Road 691, Madison uh, Avenue, uh, signs for Lumberton, uh, Medford, uh, then turn left onto New Jersey 38 East. Well, yeah, I went out, got a haircut, got that done. Uh, the house isn't coming as well as I wanted to. I finally got the screaming room. Game room, more taken care of. I got the lights for my streaming. Please. Turn left onto New Jersey 38 East. Auto. I guess that's supposed to be something. Apparently, that ring light's the greatest thing ever, but I feel like a basic bitch because I'm just getting the same ring light everyone else is getting. I'm not really. Continue on New Jersey 38 East for half a mile. Apparently, everyone loves the blue and red light thing that everyone does in every fucking room ever and every stream ever, so. Who knows, maybe I should fucking do this. I do fucking green and purple. I think that'd be an interesting combo. Um, that or I should just do it. Same thing on my fucking channel or whatever it is. I don't even name my channel on here. This is, this is a log. It's just a journal. I, I don't want to fucking link anything. This is not some penny grab or whatever it is. Honestly, I am going to unlist In a quarter channel. mile, I'm turn right. Really be searched up. I'm going to put tags on it. I'm going to put the date and that's it. But yeah, no, I got that taken care of. I got the lights set up for the green screen. I got the bar strips, shop lights taken care of. Problem is, when it's aimed at me... Turn right, this, then turn right. This fucking effect where it's like right here and right here are the only things that are lit up. And it's lit from the back through reclusive lighting. And it just looks like dog shit. Oh, God, I hate it. So... I just went out and bought a new strip light. Oh, good. Hope for the best. Your destination is on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. I'm going to close something at Goodwill. Yeah. Why do I shop at Goodwill or whatever it is? Because a lot of it is decent fucking shit. I don't really want to go out and buy it. Plus, I like over close anyway. I don't know. Like, every once in a while, I'll go out and buy me something. Eat it. it. I mean, I don't need to go out and blow fucking, you know, 120 bucks on some new jeans when some dumbass fucking threw out bears not thinking about it. And I can, you know, make a bit of benefit from it. So, yeah. But, um, so, uh, let me see. It's fucking 10 a.m. I still got fucking. Four hours until I, it's mission critical for me to get to work. So I'll spend about 30 minutes here taking care of my shit. Get it done. Hopefully not step on some dirty diaper in this fucking garbage ass fucking park. Jesus, that is nasty. So yeah, shopping for that and getting that kind of shit. Um, let's see. That's basically all I've been doing. I mean, I did a little bit of laundry, but that's not much. I need to start cleaning out shit. Um, cleaning my uniforms and stuff like that. Got them ready to go for the week. Um, you know, gotta clean those up. So it's been so god-awfully hot lately. Like, where I'm sitting and stuff like that, like, there's no AC. So I'm just kind of sitting in this little, you know cubicle in the back, and it's open fucking warehouse, and it gets hot as fuck, so I end up having to, you know, sometimes if it gets too hot, I just end up going to the, you know, locking up and going to the fucking break room, it's just so god-awfully hot, I hate it, it hurts, it doesn't really hurt, well, it does hurt sometimes, I actually end up getting headaches, I just get dehydrated, I'm down like two water bottles a day, you know, or at least all my shit, like two water, water, water bottles for shift, not for day. I probably drink four water bottles per day. I should really in increase that. But, um, yeah, that's what's going on right now, I guess. I can't really name anything of value from the previous week, um, other than just getting some minor shit done. 
I have a whole mountain of laundry I need to figure out where it goes, and I really need to start, like, settling in and taking my shit and do it. Um, I don't know what subconscious thing it is. It's just, I don't want to unpack all my shit and put it away and stuff like that. I guess it's, like, some kind of PTSD for moving so much as a kid or something like that. But I just don't want to, uh, like, just, just unpack my shit. And it's fucking with me, because I need to start finding places for everything and, and put things where I want and figure out what I'm getting rid of. So I don't need to be lugging all this shit around. It's going to be even more pain in the ass if I end up getting moved. So, I just hope for the best, I guess. That's all I can. That big thundercloud of the paperwork is going to be over my head. Because if I get an Oracle 15, that's fucked. Oracle 15 would not be good for me. Other counseling is fine, I guess. Other reprimand's not good. Article 15, that'll fuck me up. I've heard of people taking Article 15 and being fine with it, but it's mostly for GTC abuse and other dumb shit like that. Or like, they get fucking Article 15 for DUI, they kick you out for DUIs. But uh, the less I've seen, I, I, I mean, people get Article 15 for DUIs, but I mean, you get it for missing a scale out of a box that didn't even go out the flight line. It wouldn't make any fucking sense. So, I don't know. I'm hoping for the best. I think they're rooting for me, but. Who fucking knows? I've been backstabbed so many times that they fucking fool me. You know, I mean, a lot of it's my fault, but it's not my fault. I don't know. Because I don't want to not take responsibility for this shit that I, you know, the parts that I play, but at the same time, I feel like subjectively they're being harder on me than they would with other people. Because I've seen other people get away with this shit all the time, they just toss them on the fucking rug. It, it's. I don't know. It depends on the person and if they like you or not. Whoever the fuck is in charge, if they like you, they'll fucking, you know, make it disappear. And if they don't like you, well, good luck. Anyway, I have a dumbass shopping spree to do and not much time to do it. So, I guess this is the log for today. Um, I'll probably upload again tonight, maybe. Or maybe tomorrow morning. And just kind of go over what happened what's happening right now and kind of go for it just what I'm feeling I guess I guess I'm kind of doing this so I don't want to end up going to a fucking counselor or anything like that because I don't fucking trust them I don't trust them so that's it